Hello, welcome to wonderful uh, woodworking.com. Omer Shares here. And uh, what I'm uh, going to do here today now, in the fifth uh, uh, video of my series here, is on this little Euclid here. Toy, wooden toy replicas. I do this as a hobby. It's a lot of fun, a lot of challenge to it. And uh, it's just, just great. Now, as you can see, everything on these units work. They're just like the real thing. You have your unloader here, your loader goes up and down, it articulates. Uh, you have the push off here on the, on the back of the bucket to, to push your load off. What I did with this one here, the plans are only as a, uh, just as a scraper with the front engine and the bucket. But I wanted to uh, add a bit to it, so I put a back engine on it to make it a full Euclid. Uh, for moving dirt and that, because around here we do have uh, Euclid's, eh? and, and to me they just look a lot bolder and a lot, uh, a lot more gutsy in the uh, big equipment field. So that's what I've done here. Now, like anything else that you're going to do as a project or whatever, you should have yourself a good working set of plans. And uh, that we do have with all of these uh, uh, wooden replicas and that. Everything is, is made to scale. And on this particular unit here, about the only thing that you can get from, uh, as a kit, is strictly like doweling to make your cylinders, uh, pins, wherever you might need a pin. There's little pins in here, pins in your, your cylinders, this type of thing. But basically, that is all you get for a kit. Everything else, including the wheels on this here, have got to be made by hand. Now, this is where my equipment comes in. Uh, there's a job for every one of these here when you're into uh, building toy replicas. And uh, without equipment, i got to admit, it might be awful tough to do. But, uh, for instance, along with the blueprints here, and some good jigs, to go ahead and, and uh, do the job. For instance, here's a jig that I've made here. And I'm showing you how to do this, by the way. On the plans, there's a, there's a sheet here just to make your wheels for these here because they're all treaded in and everything, eh? The wheel looks like this. This is half a wheel, actually. You glue the other side onto it, too, when you're finished. But uh, at any rate, you start with building a jig like this here. This will turn out to be a wheel in the end. Uh, and it explains in the blueprint exactly how to build them and how, how to, uh, to do that. It tells you the degrees to cut them on. These are done on the table saw, by the way. And uh, it will tell you exactly the degree, the degree to cut for the tread uh, on the tires and, and the whole work. So it, it makes it quite easy. Uh, for that there. Once, once you uh, study the plans and that and learn how to do it and make some jigs to go along as they suggest and that, it works great. It works great. Now, this one here is the actual bucket itself in here. This part in here. And there's a full detailed plan of it. You can see here the bucket on, on, on that part there. Shows you this piece that goes inside here, this push off that moves back and forth. And all the critical pieces, your side pieces, everything that are, and they're all built to scale. So, if you make the piece exactly the size of that, this is what you'll end up with. And I gotta say, they fit perfect if you follow the plans properly. Now, here's a, uh, another detailed page, and this one here is just strictly on how to build this hitch part in here. There's quite a few pieces in there, and it's quite detailed too. The, uh, the arms on here, on the sides, this cross piece, this whole uh, uh, hitch part on that there. And it tells you in, in this particular sheet exactly how to do that. And uh, hey, it's great. Such as like the, uh, the cylinders and that, they'll show you how to do that. And what it is, like you have two different sizes of doweling. You have a bigger doweling, and then a smaller one for your ram inside of the cylinder. And uh, on the press drill, make yourself a jig, and you can uh, drill the hole right through that big one, uh, and then your other little doweling will act as the cylinder, moving in and out on that. So it, it's uh, 
It's not a big deal, but you still have to be set up properly to do it. On this next sheet here, uh, let me see, we are talking about building the cab. The cab and the engine uh, block in here. And it shows you in detail exactly how that all works. And even the details that inside the cab, your controls, the steering wheel, uh, all of that stuff. As you can see here, you've got your big air cleaner, you've got your little steps here on the side, your grill, your push bumper, and uh, all, all that you would see on the real machine. And uh, like I said, if you follow your, your prints and that, they're all to scale, everything uh, uh, will end up like this here, if, if you do your homework on this part of it. Then a little bit more detailing here with the uh, engine. It shows you how to do the grill and the radiator on the front. Uh, some of the parts and pieces that go within. Uh, how to build some of the, uh, the pieces here for your cab and that on there. How to build your fenders and, and all of that. And those are all done by, by hand once again. You go by the blueprint. Uh, the fenders, for instance, are done on the band saw on the back. Uh, you start out with a block of wood, and you just start to, to cut it in a circle, shape it, finish shaping it on your, your little sanding wheel here that I use an awful lot of. Uh, little wee pieces, I will use the, uh, the little jigsaw over here, on here, and of course you have your miter saw. Press drill is a vital important uh, piece of equipment to have when you're uh, uh, doing this type of stuff. But utilize the prints. Utilize making templates and stay safe because uh, power equipment just does not have any respect for fingers. And especially if you're working around the router or something like that and a little piece gets away on you, boy, I'll tell you, that can be fatal. Uh, so be safe. Uh, make jigs. Make sure that uh, you've got control of these little pieces now. And the end result will be a lot better as far as uh, building the pieces and you'll stay safe at the same time. Thank you very much.